What's up everyone, Dwayne Pedals here We're out in Miami, Florida on a little gravel trail alongside the ocean here in the Key Biscayne area. This is the Virginia Key. Uh, nice little gravel trail here. I'm just kind of chopping it up on the gravel bike this morning and just wanted to do a quick stop and review this WTB Gravelier saddle. I uh, just got this installed on the bike not long ago. Uh, before this, uh, I was riding in, uh, which saddle was I on? I believe it was like my older Bontrager that I mounted up on this. And this one is a game changer, I have to say. So a few key things I wanted to just point out about the Gravelier saddle is that it's positioning of the saddle itself. Oftentimes as cyclists, we often tend to move forward on the bike when doing long rides. So with this one, which I find is pretty cool is that it accommodates that because the saddle, if you look at it, has a nice curve to it at the nose and even in the center here. The saddle is ergonomic, so it has like a nice slit here that's gonna accommodate your pelvis and your sit bones when you're riding and doing long rides. And on top of that, it's called the Gravelier saddle for a reason, right? Because WTB designed it in a way where it's going to be specific to a gravel cyclist and the type of riding that we do. So I know for one, as a cyclist, um, in general, I tend to, uh, start moving forward toward the handlebar and uh, it sort of like becomes a little bit uncomfortable it can also give you discomfort in your hips so this is gonna help solve a lot of those issues that some of you might be having um, with the saddle some of the cons that don't like about the saddle is that it's sort of on the smaller side in terms of its length to width ratio not a deal breaker I mean honestly like most saddles are small anyway um, and just you know something that I noticed that's a little bit different from my road bike saddle um, it doesn't have an ergonomic slip that goes all the way to the tip up to the tail of the saddle whereas my other one does like my bond Traeger, it has a slit going down all the way to the rear which i find pretty nice um i don't know if that's a a pretty uh, that might be a marginal difference in terms of comfort um compared to that one but honestly like i must say i've been riding this for over uh 2500 miles already and uh it's been really good i haven't had any issues with my of my sit bones or any discomfort that you normally would get with a saddle um which is common with a lot of cyclists right like you know i'm sure like they say you have to break in a saddle at least for like a few rides uh to be able to adjust to it right I feel like when I installed this one, it was comfortable like right out the gate. So like I didn't even have to really do much in terms of uh, setting it up and I put it in my normal positioning where I would normally put it, which is like in the center for me. And um, I dipped it down a little bit like the tilt mine. And honestly, like it was perfect. So yeah, I have nothing bad to say just about like Honestly, like the one part about it being a little bit on the narrow and side to uh, length to width ratio. Uh, other than that, uh, the saddle comes with a selection of different types of rails. Uh, I have the chroma. Hey, we got cut off there. I don't know what happened. My camera just completely shut off. <laughs> Anyway, what I was saying is that the saddle comes with a selection of different model types for the rails. I have steel Kramali rails on mine because I do quite a lot of uh, bike touring with it. So I strap up my bags to the saddle. So I wanted something a bit more uh, stronger. Not to say that the titanium rails aren't as strong either, but you can also get this in a titanium version with rails. Uh, so that might save up some weight. So for those of you who want that option that is available, um, so yeah, it's a great saddle. They come in a wide range of sizes. This is a 142 millimeter. You can go larger, you can go smaller, or what have you, that suits your, your sit bones. So definitely check it out. It's a really sleek looking saddle by design as well. Um, you can see just by looking at it, you know, it looks like it's very well made. Um, so no complaints, you know. Uh, so far, I think WTB really nailed it with this saddle. I've ridden some of their saddles in the past. Uh, on my Surly uh, Long Haul Trucker and also my Ogre, which I still have a WTB saddle on there. And it is, you know, 
still running strong, but this one's a game changer. So highly recommend the WTB Gravelier saddle. You can check it out on their website at WTB.com. And um, yeah, other than that, like leave your comments below if you uh, have any questions about this saddle or if you are looking to purchase a saddle, if you wanna have um, some other options out there with either WTB or other saddles. I have some other reviews I've done in the past on different saddles that I've ridden, but um, I'll leave those here for you to also check out on the channel. And if you're new here, of course, you already know what to do. Subscribe uh, to the channel and thank you for joining uh, me on this journey here on YouTube. It definitely helps out if you like the video as well, if you found it valuable to you. And uh, of course, share it with your friends who are looking to purchase a saddle. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.